final stop on our tour of Panasonic Live at ISE, and I've dropped into our museum zone. I'm joined by Mirka, one of our engineers, to talk us through some of the technology. So, Mirka, what have we got on show for museums here? Yeah, thanks to the iPhone Museum, we have the possibility to set up a museum-style application here where we can show a lot of different technologies from Panasonic. For example, we have an uh, interactive video wall. It's a touch frame from Bunto, so it's a Shadow Sense touch frame. So we have the possibilities for several kind of selections on there. And upwards, we're showing a domes projection together with our new fish eye lens. So we have the possibility to cover the complete entire screen or dome screen with only one lens and only one projector. So this is a very new lens which we introduce us here at the ISE. And also we've got the, the mirror head, the moving mirror head projector here as well. Talk us through that. How does that work? The mirror head is an option, an accessory where we can directly connect to our rental frames, our projectors. Mm -hmm. And it's a mirror which is controlled by DMX outlet control or protocol. And then we have the possibility to create dynamic projections which is moving around the area and through, through surrounding all these locations. So really dynamic and, and, and I guess eye-catching as well, which is important. Yeah. What, what do you think Panasonic's strengths are when it comes to AV technology for museums? Especially for museums, I think we offer a lot of new technologies which um, give the customers a really good experiences and technology transfer, information transfer. So it's real, real reliable content uh, and products and so the museums have a good opportunity to inform the customers and the audience about the related documents and uh, contents. Okay, and, and, and all of this actually is all link ray enabled, so we put it, we put it in a number of different places. T talk us through them if you can. So we have, uh, for example, here the vitrine, this is a showcase, yeah, so where gonna... we have the possibility to send out yeah. any kind of information directly to a mobile device. It's similar, more or less similar to a QR code, but it's yeah. directly sent out by the light path. And we have several applications here where we have the possibility to interact with a touch screen and we can send multiple light IDs, or we have the possibility to interact by using the mobile phone by sending out only, uh, send only one ID. So we have the, for example, the possibilities to trigger some video contents from the mobile device and this will then later be directly be projected on the screen. Yeah, and the link ray is enabled in the, in the projectors, in the displays, even spotlighting yeah. as well. So it's a very flexible tool for museums. We're really flexible and I think we are, have a lot of opportunities and possibilities to use this new technology which is introduced by Panasonic. Okay, that's it for Panasonic Live at ISC this year. If you came by, thanks for dropping by. We'll see you again next year. Uh, if you didn't, here's our